What's up guys, Dino here, welcome back to my racing channel. Before we go on about today's tip, any new subscribers out there, let's hit that button, let's hit the bell, you'll get all notification of my videos um, today, tomorrow, next week and next month. There is almost, almost 90 videos on this channel to do your horse racing. All the way from learning about the going, the stalls, the jockeys, the horses, the racetracks, anything you want to have a look at on here, be my guest and click on the videos and this will learn you quite a lot about horse racing. Anyone that wants to know or drop any questions, drop me a comment, I'll answer it as best as I possibly can. But as I say, there is almost, almost 90 videos on here. And a lot of them are tips, which have been absolute quality tips. Whether it's won, whether it's been in the first three. Yes, they've not always won and they've not always been in the first three. But you will be surprised by the percentage of winners and placed horses on this channel. It is so high quality. And again, there is no BS on this channel. It's all good tips, it's all truth, all honesty on here, and I appreciate every single subscriber. I also appreciate everyone that's looked at the last video, which was obviously Ken Boy uh, wins the Punchestown Gold Cup. Over 200 people have viewed this video. That, to me, is absolute quality, and whoever's viewed it, whether you've been a subscriber or not, I really do appreciate it, I really do. Um, I know there's other channels out there that get thousands and thousands of views, but I just appreciate it. I appreciate everyone that's subscribed to this channel, even though it's only 21. I really do appreciate it. And I know we will get more, because this channel is flying at this precise moment. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody viewing the videos, but especially that one. Over 200 people viewed that video. Round of applause for everyone. Alright, so on to today's tip. And was I disappointed with Royal Intervention? No, I wasn't. Absolutely not. Not disappointed whatsoever. The winner at 2081, Isis Queen. I have no idea where that came from. No idea. Chapelli's finished second, which is a belter of a run for Ryan Moore and Mark Johnson. Red Impression, if you look at that, that was in stall 14, the favourite. Stall 14, tucked right in last after about two furlongs and finished getting beat half a length. That's the horse to take out of this race, is Red Impression. That ran an absolute blinder from where it was to be drawn in stall 14. Um, our tip, Royal Intervention, as we say, just got ran uh, out of a place. We did say each way, and it's, it's only been beaten a length and a half. And it's not run a bad race since first run uh, of the season. That will come on a ton. Believe me, that will come on a ton in its next race. Just like Red Impression will. Absolutely, the two of them, I would take they two out the race. Chapelli, that's Chapelli's third run, um, and ran, as I say, ran a belt of a race. Isis Queen, I have no idea where that came from. No idea at all. Alright, so as much as we were fourth in today's race, take it from me, it wasn't a disappointing run at all. Absolutely not. That was a good run from Royal Intervention and the favourite Red Impressions. Definitely keep an eye on day two. Alright, so tomorrow obviously Punchestown is still on the go. Um, as you can see we have Punchestown over the jumps, great meeting that. Lingfield, there's seven races uh, on the flat at Lingfield tomorrow. It's okay racing, Chepstow's okay racing, Musselburgh's okay racing, Cheltenham, I think there's only one Class 3 rate there, um, but the jump season is obviously really coming to an end now. Uh, Dundalk is flat night meeting, 
just like Newcastle on a tapita is on, uh, it's a night meeting on the flat, disappointing again. Um, now, Churchill Downs, for any of my American subscribers, there's two or three really good quality races here, um, raid ones. So I would have, certainly have a look at them, any of my American friends, any of the UK subscribers either, have a look at the A3 races. Uh, I think one of them is a Kentucky Oaks, so have a look at it. Um, I've had a look at the, the three races myself, and they're good quality races, all the top jockeys are there um, from America. So have a look at them. But where we are going to go tomorrow is back to Punchestown. We will have a little, little, a little. We will have a little look at the Punchestown champion hurdle. Now again, it's disappointing because there's only seven horses in this, which is a bit disappointing. I thought there might have been more. So if we have a look at this, it's still good to yielding, which is just slightly soft. Um, it's for 177,000 euros over two miles, four year olds and upwards. And as much as there's only seven horses in this, I think there's a good four, four horses in this that could win it. I've had a look at Somerville Boy and Wicklow Brave and Petite Mulker. They're not in the same class as your Brovedeers, Apple Jade, Super Sunday and even Melon. So the winner's certainly going to come out of these four, but there's a wee twist to this. We can either try and pick the winner, which is going to be hard because of the four good quality horses that are there. We could either pick a forecast, which again is going to be tough. We can either pick a tri-cast which is your first, second, and third, or we can try and do four. Now, it's probably easy enough to pick the four, but there again, have I decided what I'm going to do? No. I've been on this for probably about an hour looking at this race, and as much as Bova there disappointed at um, Cheltenham, um, we ran a better race at Aintree, Apple's Jade was disappointed at Cheltenham. Um, Super Sunday ran a cracking race um, a few weeks back. And Melon is no daft horse. Believe me, Melon is not a daft horse. It's a very, very good horse. Now, as I'm saying to you, and I'm being totally honest here, I've not picked who's going to win this yet because it's that tough. Bovedere could certainly win it, Apple's Jade could certainly win it, Super Sunday could certainly win it, and Melon could certainly win it. So, for the first time on the channel, usually I've got the winner, or what I think could win the race, but I don't know this time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I don't know if I want to do a forecast, or I don't know if I want to do um, a tri-cast, which obviously we all know how to do a win horse. Uh, a forecast is the first two, your first and second, but you could do a reverse forecast, and a reverse, reverse forecast means, let's just say we go for Bovedere to beat Apple's Jade, or Apple's Jade to beat Bovedere. If you do a reverse forecast, doesn't matter what order they come in as long as they're first and second. If you do a reverse tri-cast, then you're going to do, let's just say we do Bovedere, Apple Jade and Super Sunday. If you do a reverse tri-cast, doesn't matter what order, as long as they three come in the first three. Doesn't matter what order it is. Because you're getting 74, you're getting 15, 8, you're getting 92. Now, as I've always said, you always need to bet sensibly on when you're, you're back in the horses, ladies and gents, all right? I don't go mad and put hundreds of pounds on. Absolutely not. So, I'm yet to decide. I honestly, I honestly don't know whether I'm going to do a win, a forecast, a reverse forecast, a reverse tri-cast, a tri-cast. 
I'm going to have to leave one of the four out, and the one I'm going to have to leave out is Merlin, but I still think that's a danger. That's how, this is a quality, quality race with A4 horses in it. But I'm going to have to leave one out, and I'm going to have to leave Merlin out. Um, and I honestly think it's last race, if Merlin hadn't fallen, it, it, it would have challenged Super Sunday, etc. for that race. Now as I say, good to you, then it's not going to bother Bovedere, it's not going to bother Apple Jane, it's not going to bother Super Sunday, and it's not going to bother Merlin. So the going doesn't favour anybody, it favours them all, if we're being honest. Over two miles, Bovedere's not got a problem with that, Apple Jay's not got a problem with it, Super Sunday's not got a problem with it, Merlin's not got a problem with it. So, I think, I think, what I'm going to do here, I would love to do a TriCast. I would really love to do a reverse TriCast. But I'm going to go with a forecast. And my forecast tip, rewind. My reverse forecast is going to be Apple's Jade to beat Bovedere or Bovedere to beat Apple's Jade. So it's going to be a reversed forecast for my tip tomorrow. Don't be surprised if Apple's Jade, Bovedere and Super Sunday are in the first three. That's the way I would probably expect these three horses to be in it. But it's horse racing, it's over the jumps, anything can happen. Um, just like today, with the tip that we gave today with Royal Intervention, that a 28 to 1 winner's won it. But, as I've always said, more times than not, if you do your homework, you'll get more winners, more placed horses than not. So, I would think if Bovedere turns up, Apple's Jade turns up, I think it's going to be a day two to fight out the finish. Um, and obviously Super Sunday is going to be there as well so it wouldn't surprise me the way they've got the weights as well Bovedere's got 167 to carry or an overall weight of 167 the lowest on 12 Super Sunday's 161 which is a, a difference of 6 whereas the last time they ran there was a difference of 11 so Bovedere and Super Sunday the the BHA, they're looking at day two basically to finish on the line at the same time, going by their overall weight and they're both carrying 11 stone 12. But Apple Jade is only carrying 11 stone 5. So if I was going for a win, it would be Apple Jade, but I'm going to go for a reversed forecast of Apple Jade and Bovedere. Does it matter what to? What order they finish in as long as they're in the first two. So that's my tip for tomorrow at Punchestown in the 5.30 in the Champion Hurdle Grade 1 for €177,000. My reversed forecast is Bovedere Apple Jade or Apple Jade Bovedere. Alright, that's my tip for tomorrow. Um, Friday, there's some decent racing on Friday. Uh, sorry, Saturday. There's some quality racing on Saturday. Quality. The Guineas is up and running, new market. So that's what we'll be concentrating on on Saturday <coughs> is the Guineas. Um, and there's another two, three, four races in there that are top, top quality. So <coughs> I will be looking at two or three tips for Saturday. So tune in to the video tomorrow. And as I say, Keep on looking at the videos. You are doing an absolute belter of a job. Everybody, all the subscribers, and even the people that are not subscribed, subscribe. There's no bullshit on here. Absolutely none. So come on, let's get subscribing. Let's hit that bell. And you will get all my videos today, tomorrow, next week, and next month. All right. So that's the tip for tomorrow. 5.30, punch us down. And it's going to be a reverse forecast. Apple Jade, Bovedere, Bovedere, 
Apple's Jane. All right, you all take care. Speak to you all soon.